हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे आर गोइंग टू डिजाइन अ 12 मीटर स्पैन ट्रस रेस्टिंग ओवर आरसीसी कॉलम्स एज यू कैन सी ऑन द ड्राइंग दिस इज ऑलरेडी ड्रॉन ट्रस प्रोफाइल एंड यू कैन सी द प्लान फॉर द वेयर हाउस 12 मीटर इन विड्थ एंड सेंटर टू सेंटर डिस्टेंस इन कॉलम 3.5. पॉइंट फाइव नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू डिजाइन सिंगल ट्रस एंड पर लेंस सो फॉर दैट वी आर स्टार्टिंग स्टैड न्यू प्रोजेक्ट स्पेस uh here you can give name for the file i simply give trust okay add beam finish now you have to snap a node okay i'm going to close this now uh, we have a uh, symmetry in stress profile so i'm going to draw first half of the stress and then mirror it to the second half so for that now replicate this node in x direction for 6 meters link steps click on okay as you can see the half portion bottom quarter of the truss now we'll check the height of the truss the reach distance 2.5 so we need to translate or draw the member here at center so just translation is repeat 2.5 ring step in y direction click on okay just join these two nodes so that you can find or you can get the truss outline now we have to add intermediate points our center center distance of our purlin is 1.4 so we have to divide this chord in same divisions click click this member go to insert node 1.4 just add okay click on okay as you can see all the points uh sorry you need to change because the points are drawn in wrong direction so you have to check the direction of this beam for that you can on the incidences for this beam and you can check the blue line indicates end point and green line start point so we have to change 
the direction of this pin for that go to tools redefine switch engine now you can see this is now the start point of the beam is switched so insert 1.4 to contact 4 to 5.6 ok now you can see our division is ready so we have to draw the vertical member of the truss for that we have to just translate these nodes just select these nodes and translate in y direction for 5 meter I will take minus 5 meter now you can see uh, the member is drawn beyond this bottom cord so we need to divide this or intersect ok click on ok just delete these members now you can see we have got the vertical members also now we have to join these incline members just draw members over here from this node to this node this node to this node now half profile of our truss is ready now first we will assign properties for this these all members and then replicate or mirror this portion to the second half our properties we have to go to property and go to section database select Indian we are assigning angle and just take I say 75 into 50 into 60 mm. Click on add. And for the middle sections, I will take the lesser lesser one. Okay. Now we are assigning. For assigning, just click the members and select assign to selected beams click assign as you can see this, this member is assigned to this highlighted members now select the other one and click on all the remaining members click on assign now you can see the assignment for the 3d view or structural go to structural diagram full section click on apply you can check the angle section ok now 
now the assignment is complete so we just mirror this portion for mirror this portion select all those members except this because this is common member here is the option generate mirror and in which plane we are going to mirror we are mirroring in yz plane select the node position and select copy click on ok you can see our truss is ready now we have to assign support for support i am taking pin support that is hinge so add support click on support you can assign by an individual node or you can just select these nodes and assign to selected nodes click on assign the supports are assigned now we have to replicate or translate you know, repeat this whole truss to three span we will take three beds because the trusses are typ typical in all the beds all the trusses are same so we are going to just design a central truss loading from both sides so that we can get the main truss for this select translational repeat in z direction 3.5 one two and sorry three point five three point five click on ok now we have to draw the pearl injections for this we have to just join these points as we have taken the distance equal to the purling spacing you can draw individually or just add these nodes and select whole structure or select the nodes go to geometry here is the option break beam set selected nodes the, all the members will separated now our truss model is ready For purling, we will add another section. I will take channel section ISMC 75. Click on add. Now we have to assign the purlings only. So for that, go to select. Uh, here is the option by missing attributes property the only 
or links members selected because we will not assign any section for this now just click on assign as you can see the perlin section will be assigned now go to load definition we have to create loads and load combinations for this go to loads and first dead load click on add lie load and win load in this video uh, we will assign win load uh, on directly on the members by manually calculating uh, we in our next video we will see the win definition and software generated win loading now uh, go to dead click here add add self weight here the factor minus one click on add then the dead weight of grouping sheets for that you have to calculate as per your uh, roofing requirements so i am taking here uh, normal gi sheets for 5 kg per meter square so i have calculated uh, the weight and uh, for the distance of the purling our distance is 1.4 for spanning i have calculated go to member load here minus minus for gravity and 0. Point zero seven add uh, one thing here is important instead uh, minus sign indicate that the opposite of the axis for if you assigning vertical load in downward direction you have to assign minus sign always remember this sign convention so go to add live load and member load 1.05 click on add wind load then i am taking here a wind load as a member load as i have calculated i will explain 1.41 uh, for wind load you have to go to is 875 part 3 here you can see uh, design wind speed vz you have to calculate uh, vz for this vb vb is our wind speed uh, k1 the risk factor k2 the height factor and uh, k3 topography factor you can check the code and check all these terms and you can study all the terms here i will show the k1 k1 here is the chart for k1 our i have considered the pune area so the wind speed is 39 and the building is general building and the year considering 50 year so k1 is 1 for k2 here is chart for k2 k2 i have considered terrain category 1 and the class is a so and our height of the structure is not greater than 10 meter so the k2 factor is 1.05 and the k3 factor k3 factor you can see always take 1 so i have calculated here k1 is 1 k2 is 1.05 k3 is 1 vz is equal to vb into 1 into uh, sorry vb into k1 k2 k3 so this will be vz and pz what is the pz pz is the design wind pressure we have to calculate pressure on the roof 
so pz is 0.6 into vz square vz square so this is value for wind pressure per meter square now in our plan we have calculated the per meter square so we have to consider this purling we have to transfer the load from here so consider this span half of this span and half of this span so this span is 1.4 so i have calculated for one single member in this way you can assign the directly on the member so for assigning we'll just select our purling sections sections by specification property name click on here and view selected members now you can see only purling sections will be visible so self fit will assign self fit to all whole structure so we'll assign later first assign this row assign to view click on ok lie load assign to view same wind load the other loads are assigned now self weight to the whole structure going to assign as you can see self weight is assigned to whole structure in this way you can assign all the loads now we have to define load combinations for load combinations you can uh, click as per your code here you can select your code generate load combinations and click on that but i am taking the manual load combination so i am going to define load combinations i am just taking uh, first load is dead load plus lie load dead load plus lie load click on add second i'll take dead load plus wind load dead load plus wind load and third load combination is dead load plus wind load plus 0.75 lie load dead load wind load and here 0.75 lie load as you can refer this in code when you are combining the wind load and lie load you can reduce lie load by 30 percent i'm taking here factor 0.75 click on add the load combination is assigned now here one important thing we have to do uh, as you can see in the drawing the purlin member is perpendicular to our slope so we have to assign the angle that is beta angle for the purlins for this we have to make uh, purlins visible only so select only purlins create as our slope is 18 degree and another for half part this will be the opposite i am creating a negative so for this version you have to just select as you can see all the purlins are selected click here select member and assign to selected members for this 
just assign and just click the structural diagram as you can see as you can see the channel section is tilted as the slope so this is enough and for opposite this will be tilted in opposite direction so now another thing we have to say now we have tilted the purling section so we have to assign this as a local y direction as previously we have assigned the global y we have to assign this as local y direction now you can see the wind direction the wind load direction to perpendicular or in direction of the purling or perpendicular to the slope so the loading is assigned you can check all structure loading and the load combinations are also created now we have to create uh, design properties for this go to design tab here we have to select our code as 800 uh, go to command tabs click on check code add and here the member take off click on add you can see the code is appears here just click on code and assign to view and same for the steel member takeoff assign to view now we are all done for the analysis for analysis first go to commands analysis and perform analysis command click on ok now go to commands analysis perform analysis command click on ok just run the analysis uh, here you can see uh, if there is errors or warnings so there is no error and 18 warnings you can check this uh, just we'll just check view output file you can check the errors all the errors in the file or just go to post processing we'll check the and just keeping the load combinations click on apply ok now you can check the displacement here the all the node displacements or you can just click on the summary and check the summary of the displacement or you can check the individual node displacement by clicking the node As you can see the center point, this point, the maximum displacement is 30 for this part. Now, for go to beam tab, you can check all the forces for ease. We will just check a single truss. you can check forces in each and every 
member of the trust you can check also stresses for the every member and the final one is utility check by utility check you can see the members passed or failed you can see here the red color indicating failed members and the green one the past members and blue just over -sessed. so we have to revise our top chord we'll just take a look to the purling we have to change the purling section also as we have considering the center part of the purling we just take a look at the purling we need to change the purling sections also so in this way you can check all the members and revise if you want to revise so we will just take a single revision for this all these members how you can revise the members now first we will just take the vertical or the intermediate members we need a single higher section or we can ignore this we just change this member and the pearl injection so for that go to model general and property tab we we are going to change the pearl injection so we can edit here or add another one another new member I'm just changing this section so we'll take one higher section go to edit I'm taking a higher section click on ok close now for the top chord we have to change the top chord section for this we are going to add the new member I am taking same member in a double way I am just taking 75 75 6 and back to back a double angle click on add now we have to select only top part just click the top part and assign to the selected members now take a look in 3d also as you can see here is the back to back Two members. Now our member revision is completed, so we can analyze. 
go to post processing mode directly we are going to utility check as you can see we will just take a look at the per link we can take the per link the we have to revise our per link again or change the section for the per link for trust we just take single trust as you can see the top card of the trust is passed just this number is just over one so we have to revise this members also by just higher thickness now our trust is okay so you can provide this sections in drawing so in our drawing will provide this section thank you for watching this video and please subscribe and share if you like and please like the video we will see uh, in this series we will see another videos relating start tutorial or uh, you can suggest in comment box we will definitely make video on your suggestions thank you thank you so much